Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with our subject computer of class third, chapter number eight. Enjoy with the text paint. So, text paint is a software like a paint, made for the drawing and painting. It has a number of tools to help you to draw and color. It has an interesting sound effect. So, keep the speaker of your system on while you are working in touch paint. So in a touch paint we have more features as than a paint. So in this chapter we will explore about those features, how to work and use the touch paint. So to start the touch paint first you have to click on start. Click on all programs and then Find in the all program. Here we have a touch paint and select touch paint full screen. To download the touch paint software, you can search on a Google touchpaint.org and download this software and install in your computer to work with the touch paint. And also download the rubber stamps, so which will provide you the additional functionality, other additional features to work in a tux paint. You got the two choice while opening the tux paint. You can either open it full screen by selecting the full screen, or open it in a new window by selecting the tux paint windows. Usually, it is better to open the tux paint in a new window because. Sometimes in the full screen, all the options can't be seen. The title screen appears as the program is loaded into the memory. Press any key or click the mouse to continue. So after 30 seconds, the title screen will go away on its own. So for the loading, it takes some time, uh, up to one or two minutes. The main screen appears looks like this. So here we have a toolbar from where we can select a various tools like a paintbrush, like a stamp, like a lines, a shapes for a different types of a shapes like a circle, polygon, any type of a shape for the text and labels, matrix, undo, redo option, razor, to open a new file, open your existing file, to save your work, to print, to quit. So this is a main screen. So here we have a toolbar. It is on the left side of the main screen. It contains a drawing and editing tools which we can use in our touch paint software. Then this one area is comes under the drawing canvas so we will select this background white color so this is our drawing area so it is the center of the main screen you draw your figure here so then we have a selector on the right hand side of the main screen if you wish to select the brush tool for example the selector shows a various size of brushes are available so if we select this paint tool, so then you can see all the options are related to the paints here. If we select here stamp, so then you can see all the options are related to the stamps are visible here. So which tool you will select here, so the option related to that tool will be visible to you here. A color. A pattern of color is found below the drawing canvas. It has 18 colors. The first 17 colors are fixed. The 18th color on the right is the one that you are allowed to change. Just click on the color here. This will open the color box. So from here you can change the color like if you wish to use a red color. From here you can use a yellow color. So you can use any color. And this one is 18 color is changed color. From here you can select any color from this window and choose it for your drawing. So when we will use these brushes or paint, we will discuss about it more. Then we have a help area. 
so this is your help area so it is present at the bottom of the main screen it provides the tips and another information about the selected tool while drawing on the canvas so whatever is the tool you will select you will see here the help will here so as we select here the line the click to start a line let's go to complete it so we can see here if we select the pen so pick a color and brush the shape to draw with so if you select color so it is a red color and you can draw it so the drawing tool some are the drawing tool in text paints are described below so as you use these tools you will hear the different sounds so it will be fun to keep the speaker on of your speaker on your system so first one is paint the paint tool lets you to draw the star arrow and also the free hand done like the painting you can do here so how to use the paint tool click on a paint tool from the toolbar a brush will appear as you take the mouse pointer on the drawing canvas select the color from the color pattern from here you can select any color which you want to use for example red color also select the size for the brush from the selector on the right from here you can select the brush size like this is a point from here you can select another size so it's change uh, next we have click and hold the left mouse and move the mouse pointer on the drawing canvas so so in this way you can draw anything on your canvas so when you use your tool you will listen some music okay so now if you wish to change a uh, type of a tool like uh, i want to draw a star then i'll select this now as i move the mouse so you can draw anything you can change the color and select the another so you can use this paint next we have a lines so just start a new sheet next option is lines the line tool lets you to draw a straight line so click on a line then select the color for your line for example a uh, green color then from here you can change the line thickness and then you can draw a line change a color and draw you can also draw some shapes with the help of line tool So in this way you can use the lines. Next is shapes. So if we select the shapes, so undo you can use to make it back black shape. So next is shape. Select the shape. From here you can select any type of a shape like the sphere. Select the color from here. 
is a just a sphere this one is a field sphere like a circle pentagon field 1 so you can use this tools to make it more work with the shapes next is text just remove all these text tool is used when you have to type some text for example you have to type some number or you have to written some words like he is a boy so first select the text then select the color and from here you can change the text size and also style this is the style if you want to make it more large then you can use this button to increase their size this is to decrease this button is to increase the font size make it bold make it italic so in this way you can use these options to make it bold make it italic this one is to decrease the size so you can use any type of a shape any style that you can write two word on your text page next we have magic special effects so first you have to clear this so you can also use the eraser tool if you want to delete something next is magic tool the magic tool lets you to add the different kinds of special effect to your drawing to add these click on magic tool from here you can select a uh, any type of a shape uh, just for example by clicking on this button you can select anything so i want to draw a this thing track for my railway if you want to uh, make it train is a raining is falling similarly you can use this anything you want to work you can do it next is mirror to reverse lighten to light for example red color light so like uh, we want to draw some grass here so you can draw a sweet home here and uh, use the grass you can also use some uh, lighting areas you can also use anything which you want to draw you can do it on your sheet like i want to add bricks to design my home so you can create a shape of your home and draw it next is eraser tool the eraser tool lets you to help the erase and remove any portion of the drawing which you want to delete so you can select the eraser tool and choose the size of your eraser from here is a small size is a larger size in the form of circle so i don't want these things to be on my 
painting so i'll delete it from my so you can use the razor tool to delete the things some other controls there are other controls for the various functions just like the undo and redo so first one is undo if you have do something and you want to cancel it then you can use this undo button so it will make it the reverse of that thing redo button is if you want to do it again for example we have draw some shape here now if you click on undo it will make it black again and if you click on redo it come again so you can use the undo and redo next option is new button is used when you want to create a new file so click on new and you will get the option to create your new file so if you want to save your previous file then you click on save and it will save your previous file or either you can click on this save button to save your previous work to open your previous work click on open and here you can select see all the options which you have designed previously on your computer so here we have draw a some scene of a jungle with the lion and black bug so you can open it again print option is used to take the print out of your tux paint painting the which you have draw here and quit option is used if you want to quit this software to close this software so yes i am done if you want to quit click on this button to close this okay students so in this chapter we have learned about tux paint how to draw a picture or a painting in a tux paint how to use the drawing canvas how to use a selector for selecting the various options and to create your a picture in your tux paint thank you have a nice day